Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I'm putting in my kids' Christmas stockings as well as their Christmas Eve boxes. So got tons of different little things that I think they're really gonna love. My daughter is 12 years old and my son is five years old. So hopefully this gives you guys some ideas for your kids or grandkids, or maybe just some fun little gifts for a special kid in your life. So let's go ahead, let's see what we are gonna be putting in Chloe's stocking, and then we'll look at what we're putting in Axel's stocking. Now, as for the Christmas Eve boxes, it's a fun tradition that I started when my daughter was little, and I don't even remember exactly how I started it, but she loves it. It's so fun to have a special gift to open up on Christmas Eve, and I normally include like some pajamas or something that they can wear that night so they can wake up on Christmas morning wearing their cute new pajamas. So let's go ahead and see what we got. you guys a few items that I'm putting in both of my kids stockings. So first I got these cute little gift card mazes off of Amazon. Anything that I got from Amazon, I'll link it below in the description box just in case you want to pick one up. These come in a three pack and they're so adorable. I'm really excited about it because it makes the gift of a gift card a lot more fun. So it kind of makes them work for it a little bit too. So it came with a purple one, a blue one, and then also a clear one. So depending on what colors you want to do. So I'm going to put the purple one in Chloe's stocking and the blue one in Axel's. And I got them each a $10 Roblox gift card. So these gift cards right here, it's funny because they can be such a big age range. So like I said, he's five, she's 12, but they both enjoy playing Roblox. So I'm going to put one of the gift cards, take it out of this little thing, put it inside the maze, and then they have to solve the little maze in order to get their gift card out. Another item that I picked up to put in both of their stockings are these little DNA balls. These right here, I also got them from Amazon. So my kids really like the little um, fidget toys and different things like that. So with these, they come in a three pack. So I'm gonna put one in each of their stockings. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the third one. Might keep it for myself, like a little stress ball or something. <laughs> if I can get it open, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's this little squishy ball and it's got all these inside of it. It's just really squishy and fun to play with. I know kids are super into this kind of stuff. So um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep one for myself. <laughs> but got one for each of their stocking. And like I said, it comes in a three pack. So if you have three kids, that's perfect. Um, if you have two children, then you can put one in each of theirs and keep one. <laughs> Next up, I grabbed a few candy items from Walgreens. So if you're a couponer, you can use your Walgreens cash or register rewards to lower your out of pocket on these items. So I just paid with some Walgreens cash, barely paid anything out of pocket. I got them each the little cotton candy, the North Pole cotton candy. Those are always super good because I mean, they love cotton candy. Um, then I also got them each a little Pez dispenser and they're fun little um, festive ones. So I got Axel Ray Reindeer, and then I got Chloe the little polar bear and then it comes with a whole little thing that has all the flavors and everything so they can fill up their Pez and that will last quite a while. These next couple of items again are just a few little candy items and then I'm going to get into all the items that are not candy but I got them each a little thing of the mini M&Ms. They love those so I got green for Axel and red for Chloe. I got them each the little trolley Sour Bright. Um, it says reindeer poop, so I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> I thought they might get a kick out of that. So I got them each one of those. And then I got them each the little Ghirardelli chocolate squares or the peppermint squares. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> but uh, Chloe really loves these and Axel, he loves the little Andes mints, so I know he's going to love this as well. Now I also got them each a mini brands ball. So the mini brands, if you're not familiar with it, it comes with all of these mini versions of lots of different things like candy or like a mini ketchup, a mini mayo, things like that. So it's super cute, mini lotions, different items. So I got them each one of those as well because they're both really into those. And I mean, it's just something fun and it's just like cute little things that they can use to play with. So a while back on Amazon, I got a really good deal on some fidget sensory toys. 
Now, I cannot remember how much it was, but I remember getting it for super cheap. I'm going to have to look it up on Amazon, and if I can find it, I'll link it below for you guys. I am not sure how much it is now, but I know that I only paid a few dollars for this, and it came with this whole box of the sensory toys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these up between their stockings. So, for Chloe, I may have got her a couple little extra things for her stocking, so I might give Axel some of the bigger things out of the fidget thing, but they've got this little fidget ball where you push in the different colors. I don't even know how all of these things work, but I know that kids are super into these. It's got these little things. We have to move around the marble inside of there. <laughs> um, and it comes with a couple of those. All these little stretchy worm-like things. Comes with all those, so I'm sure they'll be loving that. This one, I'm not even sure what it is, but so that as well. Some little balls there. And then it also comes with one of these, like, pop it, I guess it is. And it has all the letters of the alphabet on it. So I'm definitely going to give that one to Axel because that'll help with his letters since he's in kindergarten. So I think that that is going to be some super fun things to put into their stocking. It's just, like I said, a ton of stuff. So you could definitely split this up between a couple of kids if you wanted to. Next for Chloe, I got her some of the Kiss and Press nails. So I wear these nails all the time and sometimes she likes some of the ones that I have, but I got her these cute little ones that have a rainbow on it. I just really thought that she would love those. They're like pastel colors, which she's really into. So I got her that. Then I order most of my jewelry, like any necklaces you see me wearing or bracelets, I normally order them from a small shop over on Instagram. It's called Lisa's Pieces. She makes beautiful hand stamped jewelry and she makes other jewelry as well, like bracelets and things like that. So I ordered a couple of bracelets for Chloe for her stocking. I've got this one and it's like rainbow color. It's got all the different colors there. And then I also ordered her this one. I can't think of what it's called. Is that called like Chevron or some kind of thing. I forget what it's called, but it's got these little things and it's a different colors. So I thought she could wear those bracelets together and that would be super cute. So got her those as well. Another thing I got her is this little cat clouds. I think it's like a squishy, but I'm not exactly sure. But with this, I guess either you get, a, maybe it's a cat that's squishy like a cloud. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> That is what that looks like, and she's really into cats. She wants a cat so bad. We have two dogs, don't have any cats, so I think that she'll like that. Also got her some cat socks. They're fuzzy little socks, and I got these at Walgreens. Then I found this at Books A Million, and I'll check on Amazon and see if they have it. If they do, I'll link it, but it's a Rubik's Cube. She has a regular Rubik's Cube, and she solved it before, but this one is Hocus Pocus, so even though it's Christmas time, I feel like she would be really into this. So I got her a Hocus Pocus Rubik's Cube, and you see like the different characters on there. I think that is super cute. So that is, I think, everything for Chloe's stocking. Like I said, I got a lot that were the same for both of them. And then I have a couple of other things for Axel. So the last couple of items for Axel's stocking, I got him this little Batman and Robin character. It's Robin. Um, I got this on clearance a while back at Walmart. As you can tell by the tag, I got it for $4. I'm just going to take him out of the pack and just stick the little character down into his stocking. Then I got some little elf playing cards for him. I thought him and Chloe can both play with these and that'll be super fun. So you can see those and I got them at TJ Maxx. Then Axel, he likes some stuff that I have and I, you know, wear bracelets and things like that all the time. So I got him his own little bracelet um, off of Amazon and I thought it was really cute. It's like a leather type material. Obviously it's not real leather, but it has a little cross on it. And I thought that that was really neat. Um, so I got that for him. I think that he's really gonna like it. I almost forgot about one of the things that I got for their stockings. One of the biggest things actually. I bought this big pack of squishies on Amazon and I'm gonna split them up between their stockings. So I'm gonna show you the different cute ones that are in here. They're still in the packs. I haven't taken them out yet. But we've got a watermelon, and we've got cake, <laughs> a donut, then we've got some cute little coffees. So this one is a little coffee with a pink straw, that's super cute. Another coffee, that. 
And then we've got popcorn, which is for sure going in Axel's. He absolutely loves popcorn. And then also an ice cream cone. And these are the squishy. So they're pretty big and they're all really squishy and everything. So I'm going to just split them up between them. I think I'm going to give Chloe the coffees and the ice cream. I'm going to give Axel the popcorn, um, the donut, and the cake because he really likes all those. And then the watermelon, it's really a toss up. They both like watermelon. So I might end up giving it to Axel just because Chloe has a few extra things in her stocking that he doesn't. So it'll make it a little more even. Now, if you see the two red and green stockings right over my shoulder here, those are Reba and Aurora stockings. So Reba and Aurora are our two dogs. So Aurora is a husky. She's three years old. Reba is a miniature pincher and she is around nine years old, we believe. We actually rescued her when she was around one year old. So we that's kind of an estimate we don't know exactly but anyway so reba is more into treats and aurora is more into toys but i wanted to show you a couple little stocking stuffers i got for them as well this one is huge and is definitely not going to fit in aurora's stocking but i got her a christmas lamb chop from walmart i was so excited i just had to get it for her. so it's huge you guys like literally so big then she's absolutely obsessed with squeaky pigs. So with that being said, she has all the different color pigs. This one, it says it's a Valentine pig, but I don't care. She doesn't have this one. And so <laughs> I got her the red and pink one. She's so strange because she just, I mean, one of her pigs, the squeaker died in it. And she knew that that one had died, even though it was that she has all these other different color pigs. She was really upset about that one. Anyways, then for Reba, I got her some of these hip and joint jerky um, chicken. So that might be good for her because I think she is starting to get like some arthritis and things like that. So hopefully that'll be a nice little treat and maybe be good for her as well. And then I could not pass up this CVS pharmacy receipt. And this right here, of course, I got at CVS. And it looks like a CVS receipt, except for it says stuff like dogs. Um, it says extra cur card, coupons instead of coupons. Um, it's just so cute. So anyways, that is what I got for their stockings. And last but certainly not least are the Christmas Eve boxes. So I'm so excited. I got these reusable boxes at TJ Maxx last year and I'm just going to continue to use them each year for Christmas Eve. I used to do like the clothing boxes that you get that are just gift boxes, but I decided to do this because it's super fun. It's a lot more room in it. Um, and then I could just, like I said, reuse them each year. So this one is for Axel. This is his Christmas Eve box. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and then I'm going to take each item out. So this is what his Christmas Eve box looks like inside. I got him this super soft fox right here. You can see it right there on the tag. I got that from Target, but you can find it other places like Amazon and other places online. I also got him these cute Santa socks that are very fuzzy. He loves grabbing a hold of my fuzzy socks. So got him a pair of his own. I got those over at TJ Maxx. Then I got him some pajamas from the children's place. They look like elf's pajamas. So he got the striped pants and then the little button shirt. So he's going to look like a little elf. So cute. And then I got a set of books for him off of Amazon. And this comes with four books. It's the Magic Treehouse books one through four. Axel and I read a book every night before bed. So with this, I think that it's going to be really great because we can read these stories together. And it's a little different. Most of his books are picture books. And this might have some pictures in it as well. I actually haven't seen inside these. But the first book is Dinosaurs Before Dark. He loves dinosaurs as well, so I think this is definitely going to be a good gift right there. And then in the bottom of his box, I got him a new blanket. I also found this over at TJ Maxx, and he's been into camouflage and stuff lately. So I got him this camo blanket that is super soft, like that Sherpa material. So I really think that he's going to love that. So that means that on Christmas Eve, he can open up his box, put on a new pair of PJs, we can read a book, he can curl up with his new stuffed animal, all of that. So I think it's gonna be just perfect for Christmas Eve. 
So next I have Chloe's Christmas Eve box. So this box, again, I got at TJ Maxx last year. It's a pretty good size box and it's so pretty. I love this like rose gold pink. It's so, so pretty. So I'm going to show you inside her box. So I'm going to give you a look at it before we get started. So inside her box, I also got her some cozy little socks. She's been really into this uh, pastel blue type color lately. So I got her these and they're the little aloe infused ones. I got her a pack of hot cocoa so that way she can have cocoa on Christmas Eve. Then I got her these cute pajamas and let me just say, I know that they say that the, they're from Victoria's Secret. I normally do not buy my child things from Victoria's Secret, but all it is is a little thermal long sleeve shirt and then thermal shorts. So sometimes she gets like cold, but also hot. So I thought that it'll be good because she's got the long sleeve shirt to kind of keep her warm. And then she's got the shorts on so she doesn't get too hot. But um, I thought these were cute. I got myself a pair that are like the black and what is it called? Buffalo plaid. It's like the black and red. And I really like them. So I got her the blue color ones because I think that she will like them. So hopefully they fit her pretty good. I just got her an extra small because she does wear extra small in some junior sections at the store. Then I also got her a cozy blanket and I'll show you what this is here in a minute. But I also got her a cozy blanket. This I got from Hot Topic. It is a Mochi Market blanket. And it's got little strawberries on it. It's a thing that she's into right now. So I think that she's going to like it. And it's really soft. Then I've got to show you guys this. This is a straw. So obviously this is a cup. I ordered this off of Etsy. And the name of the company or the shop there on Etsy is Happy Camper Creations. So I'm going to show you guys that. So you know where to find it if you want to find one. So this is absolutely adorable. I love it. I got myself one and I know that Chloe is gonna go crazy over this thing. So it is a tumbler. It says don't put it in the dishwasher, um, anything like that. Don't soak it. Don't leave it in extreme heat. So it is like a handmade one. So this is a Home Alone tumbler. It's got little sayings and things from the movie and just turn it slowly so you guys can see it. I'm like obsessed with this. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. So I absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. But yeah, I love this so much. And so it's like, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. <laughs> I just love this. Anyways, I probably said that a million times just now, but I'm so excited about it. I think she's going to go nuts over that. Now, I did get her one other item for her Christmas Eve box, but that item, it did not arrive yet, but I think it's going to arrive in the next couple of days, and it was also from an Etsy shop, so I'll post it up on the screen because I can't think of the name right now off the top of my head, but it is a Home Alone ornament. So I think that she is really going to like both of those. And this Happy Camper Creations, they also had some Home Alone wrapping paper. It was a little pricey, but I did order a little bit of it. And I'm going to wrap this and then put it back in here. So one item in here is going to be wrapped in Home Alone paper. And she's going to be like, oh my gosh, what's that? So I thought that was really cool. So that's it guys. That is what I put in my kids stockings and also in their Christmas Eve boxes. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did it give you any ideas? Are you all ready for Christmas? And would you love to see more Christmas videos like this? Definitely let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.